you don't know how to step outside yourself. Do you know the saying, you can't see the forest for the trees? It means that when you're too stuck on one thing in front of you, you can't appreciate it or understand it compared to someone standing further away. And this is precisely what's happening with your life. You're too close to it and you don't know how to take a step back and look at it objectively. So in this video, I will show you how to do just that. So years ago, I was coaching this woman who was a high school teacher and she hated her job. She loved the students, but she hated having to put her three kids in daycare eight hours a day and then come home and work more while her kids got the worst of her. She was so focused on the fact that using her teaching degree was the only way she could provide for her family. She was frustrated and every day she felt more and more overwhelmed. I asked her, what else do you like doing? She said, I like makeup and fashion, but that won't make me money. So I asked her, how can you help people with this fashion skill you have? She said, I don't know, people just like my style. And this went on for months. I needed to help her realize that if she shared her experience with fashion, then maybe she can attract her tribe. I finally got her onto TikTok and I shared a perspective, and told her if she posted every day about fashion, makeup, and her knowledge, brands would pay her to be an affiliate marketer. So what needed to occur here? The first thing she needed to do was slow down. She had to feel the emotions of the problem. She had to go through that discomfort and then she had to reframe her situation. And guess what? Now she's a micro influencer online. Brands do pay her and she's making a full-time income from home. She gets to be with the ones that she loves all day long. Isn't that so amazing? So let me give you another example of reframing your situation. You might have bills to pay, a baby to feed, and all of that costs $1,200. And you're probably feeling a little anxiety and all you do is fixate on this situation. But instead, you've gotta face the problem and reframe it, okay? You reframe it by saying, who do I need to become to find this $1,200? What talent or skill do I possess that I can provide to help me get $1,200. The point here is you need to have grace in your situation. Breathe and ask yourself good, open-ended questions. And next, you've gotta stop this doubting mentality. Doubting yourself all the time will drain you. And when you're drained, you don't move, or at least you move slow. And when you move slow, your actions are mediocre. I want you to understand that when you're feeling inspired and excited about where you're headed, you give off good energy. Yes, like having good energy is difficult when you're stuck in your circumstance, but that's why I do daily workouts. I at least go on a walk or I go to places that charge me up and I surround myself with people that have good energy. My last thing is you've got to take huge actions. You're probably saying, oh, Kayla, but I do take huge actions. I'm talking Sarah Blakely action. She sold fax machines and made $5,000. And then she said, you know what? I have this thing I wanna make. She had a garment that she had a vision for and she convinced her mother to sketch the prototype and then pitched herself to mill after mill. She kept getting turned down. And then she called a vendor, Neiman Marcus, and was relentless. I want you to think about this mindset. This is a woman who kept getting rejected over and over again until she got up the next day. And guess what? She just persisted until. That's good energy. That's inspired action. And that is the key, my friend. She was relentless and propelled by her vision of selling this invention to make millions. So maybe you have an idea. Maybe you have a service that you know the world needs. Guess what? That's not enough. You gotta take the next step. Are people willing to pay for it? You'll never know if you don't ask enough. All of this powerful thinking doesn't happen overnight. So focus on changing the energy in your home environment first. If you're going through something, I want you to follow those steps. If you're ready to take some Kayla Craft action, you gotta surround yourself with people who are committed to winning. So are you ready for some more guidance on this? I hope you are. 
I wanna send you a guide that has really transformed my life. And I wanted to do the same for you. If you're looking at things from like this tunnel vision, you need to click the link below and get a free copy of this 52 week guide to becoming unstoppable. So make sure you follow this channel, subscribe, and share with a friend who might need a change in perspective.